everybody, I'm Manuel Gutierrez and I'm very happy and excited to be here sharing with you a little bit of flamenco, percussion, body percussion, and a beautiful moment uh, of music. So this instrument, and I'm sitting on it, it's called the cajon. Let me introduce you the cajon. So if you see, it's a wood box, right, with a hole in the back to make some uh, noise. So here we are. We have the bass here and the highs here. So you're gonna say, who's this instrument come from? So this instrument come from um, Peru, 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 Peru. And let me uh, tell you a little bit about the history of the cajon. So the cajon is the most widely used Afro-Peruvian musical instrument since the late 16th century. The cajon was developed during the period of slavery in coastal Peru. So what happened? The slave at that time had fish boxes to work um, on the on, in el puerto. How do you say el puerto? Port. In the port. And they were like, bringing all these fishes and at that time they take off all the tambores all the drum from the slave so they find out the solution with these box cases to start new, the percussion is to start communicating again um, and that's where this instrument was born so it was fish boxes they turn the fish boxes they sit down on it and they start doing music So that's an example. Um, later, on the flamenco, we didn't have any percussion. The only percussion that we used to have is our hands, called the palmas. So that's our percussion on the flamenco. And Paco de Lucia, who is the master of flamenco, an incredible uh, flamenco guitarist, was touring in South America. And uh, one after his show in Peru, he was invited to a party. And in that party, obviously, was one of the biggest singers of Peru at that time. And his percussionist was playing the cajon. And that's where Paco de Lucia, I believe that was in 1976, Paco de Lucia fell in love with the instrument and say, oh my God, this instrument will be perfect and it will be the percussion of flamenco because the bass sounds as a planta of a dancer and the high sounds as a tacón of a dancer, of a flamenco dancer. So you can... It can be totally, totally connected. For example, no? So if we are feeling love of the instrument and you say, let me have this instrument back to Spain, you bring it back to Spain, and on his uh, next album called uh, Entre Dos Agua, who came in 1981, he introduced the cajon to the entire world in flamenco music. And it was like a big explosion. All the flamenco house in Spain uh, was constructing cajones to play. It was like a huge boom. Since that day to now, the cajon have been involved in flamenco and have a, his very, very special place. And right now, actually, you can find cajon in pop music, in rock, in folk. Everybody want to use it because it's so much easier to bring a cajon than an old drum set, right? to do like some acoustic uh, uh, music show, right? So let's work together and let's learn some beats. So I remember when I was a kid and I didn't have money to pay a cajon, what I did is what I took just a box, a regular box, and I used to practice on that until I got some money to pay this uh, beautiful instrument. So maybe you can have everybody of you one box in front of you and just play there. I'm gonna play in the cajon just to show you, right? And let's start it. So we're gonna do these beats. Look. Okay? So 
I explain it. We're gonna do one, two, three on the bass, and now okay, one, two, three, okay. We're gonna do that three times. Now is the number four. We're gonna go one, two, see? So only two, one, two, and again, one, two. Ta-da. So we finish with one, two, one, two. Ta-da. Again, the last one. Back, 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 back. Okay, so if I start from the top, I go three times. Back, 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 taka, back, 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 taka, back, 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 taka. Okay, so let's try together. Are you ready? One, two, three, and E. 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 Okay, so that's one beat that we can do it, right? And you can like practice it and have fun with that. Now I want you to show you a different beat, a different beat. And I'm sure you're gonna recognize it because it's a really famous beat. We're just gonna do. Okay, so it's super easy. We're just gonna go bass, High and two time on the bass. So one, two, three, and see, and we repeat it and repeat it. One, two, three, and I'm sure you're gonna recognize Maria Maria. Remember that song from Santana? So that's the beats that we're doing there. Obviously, you can always put more stuff on it. For example. You can play on top of the beats, but just learn that one, it will be perfect. So everybody on the boxes, you can just go. See? So now let's work on a transition there. So to to change a little bit. So we're gonna go one. So number four will be okay. So I do that again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So are we ready to do it all together? One, two, one, two, three, and boom. Two, three, four, two, two, three. Okay, perfect. So as soon as you have these beats, you can like turn it, turn it, turn it, and I encourage you to improvise on it. I know you have some friend there doing big balls or maybe rapping or singing or okay. So learn these beats, enjoy it, 
and have fun with it, okay? Just improvise and try some stuff. And uh, in the next class, I will show you uh, palmas and cante, okay? So I wait for you in the next class. Please rehearse and practice that one and have fun. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.